What's going on, guys? A.A. Ron here. Back in the Cleveland, and uh, today we've got a special one for you. This is how to get IFHE, Inertia, inertia Fuse, High Explosive, and World of Warship... World of... I can't talk today. World of Warships Legends. Um, my brain is working too fast for my mouth here. Good luck, everyone. Now, a lot of you are saying, wait, Aaron, you can't get that. It's a... It's only a commander skill in PC versions, and you're right. But what you can have is a, a, a uh, modification or a legendary perk called Equilibrium of Power um, for uh, Norman Scott. And uh, let's get a salvo off here. It's We're at 16.5, so it, uh, it might not hit, but we'll see. And normally, what you would get on a broadside turret like this is a bunch of shell shatters, and maybe one or two fires, but let's go oh, like undershot. Two penetrations for 1300 damage and one shatter. Now, I don't know about you guys, tw 2500 with four penetrations on a Wichita. Now, normally you're going to get penetrating shots on cruisers, um, so you know, nothing new there. But for battleships, what this perk allows you to do is to get a lot more penetration damage um, at the risk of lower overall damage. Like, for, for example, I think Cleveland does like 900 per, per shell hit. Um, and now it's only about 600. We got ships in front of us. And, um, but the shells penetrate better. They, they have a better penetration factor. Oh, goodbye, Zara. Let's go ahead and support our team over here. Let's be a team player. Yeah, this, this Colorado is giving me a perfect example. Oh, good. Should be a permanent fire on that turpids. At least for a little bit. I'm not sure if he's running Firefighter or another perk like that. But again, the full description of these shells is, is normally you're getting a bunch of fires and, and a, a bunch of shell shatters with your Cleveland. Now, this is a great example right here. Perfect distance. Broadside target. Well, if he lives long enough. Wow. There we go. Seven penetrations, only one shatter. Yep, seven more penetrations, three shatters. Oh wait, those shells didn't hit. There we go, ten penetrations. And a fire. So as you can see, just devastating amounts of damage, as well as that fire chance. Now the Colorado just completely contained. It's cracking up. Normally, what, also, what this also does is it gives you the... Um, it, it just... Normally, I might switch to AP here because I'm not going to be doing too much damage on this Wichita. Um, but with this perk equipped, it allows me to just keep the high explosive load and to keep the guns firing. And on a ship with a five second reload, four and a half, um, that's, <laughs> that's going to be your best friend. There we go. 2,000 damage on the just. I guess those would probably be superstructure, but they're still penetrated. So. Good. And a fire, too. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. He's making quick work of this one. This isn't. This isn't really a great map to show you this. This, um, perk on, but. Oh, 
Come on, boys. Give me something to work with here. Look at this Wichita. It's not really... Not really your uh, strong suit in a Wichita is border humping like that, but... Ogami playing his, uh, his Mogami like a, a destroyer trying to focus on his torpedoes. We got our, we got our, uh, this mark's pretty healthy. Let's try and focus this, this jerk off right here. Oh, target of opportunity arose. Now, now would be a pretty good time to switch to AP. Okay, he's turning in. Good. But even then, turn in six penetrations, two thousand damage. You're not getting a, those those kind of factors in, in any other ship other than maybe a battleship. Team's trying to throw this one. Let's go ahead and switch to AP though. Show you guys a good example of what the AP can do. Goodbye, Mogami. Thanks for playing. <laughs> I love when I call shots like that. Um, so, the AP is still definitely a viable option, and these shells do nothing to the AP. Um, so hopefully we don't get hurt. Yeah, and even touched. Um, so, you know, obviously broadside targets like that, close encounter, um, you're going to want to be shooting high explosive. Or, or, or armor piercing, I'm sorry, like, I'm sorry. Blah, blah, blah. Speaking too much here. Um, but, like, for this this example, this, this these shells are very good. If, uh, if only we could just hit him. Auto aim. Our, our, the Bismarck just kind of needs to charge this guy. Like, is this fun? Is MX201 having fun right now? Just border humping like this? Whatever, brother. You play you. It's hard. To, I. It's so hard to aim at someone when they're border humping like this. Be, okay, good. He's uh actually to turn now just a little bit more, and then we can even turn back in. There we go. Give me that broadside. Yeah. The target position. Yeah, doing penetration now, you pansy. We got a target of opportunity in front of us. Mike the crazy guy. I think I've seen his name before. Generally a good player. Thanks Enemy for playing, buddy. But Mike the crazy guy was not really paying attention. Now he is. Was I not paying attention? I missed. Now this is kind of where these these um, these shells are going to excel. The simple fact that this this Wichita would probably out of course love that RNG like that. Double fire, put it out immediately. Sets another double fire. Um, but uh, yeah, we're gonna out DPM this guy with with this perk equipped. Now he he had um, probably a little bit of advantage there with the, the two o threes. They can do more damage overall, but we had faster. Fu um, a faster reloading ship and um, nice better penetration factor with this 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 perk equipped. I might end up with a crack in here. What do you say? Uh, is he within my detectability? No. So we're gonna try and capture this area and actually get into more of a kiting position. Oh, but actually, in the meantime, let's see if we can steal a kill on this guy. That would be fun, right? Stealing kills is fun for your own benefit. In terms, of, oh, I got him. It's okay. Team play here, team play, team play. Look at that. Five, 3,000 damage and a fire. These shells are amazing. Double fire. And another two, 3,000. Now you should put those out. Still burning? Auto aim's been really finicky lately. I don't know if they changed it or adjusted it, but um, auto aim has not been giving me what I normally get out of her. Uh, and yeah, but still, 3,000 3, damage on a penetrating or a penetrating an angled turpits um, is is unreal. So let's try not to get devastating struck here as turpits brings her guns around as I've clearly pissed her off. Oh boy, just avoid dodge. Oh, those look good on us. Yeah. And of course, so so no crack in and we get as we get smacked, but that's okay. We've we've done our job uh, as best as we could. I don't think I could have played that better except maybe not taking those 
you know, three or four pens, of course, as German dispersion groups them all together in the one spot I try to dodge them in. <laughs> so, yeah, no Kraken, no uh, super exciting gameplay, but 100,000 damage, three defense, three citadels here, a capture point, and uh, we're working on the victory. That's, that's all you want out of a light cruiser, ladies and gentlemen, and all you want out of these shells. Uh, this perk is incredibly over overpowered. Auto aim's been messing up for you too lately. I had a buddy in in my clan uh, tell me that uh, they 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 nerfed it or something. But you, st what it used to be is you used to be able to zoom in like three times and it would put you exactly where you need to shoot, which is kind of a cheat in my opinion. I was I didn't really know this uh, you know up until three four months ago. Um, so you know I was just aiming by hand, but it, it really helps with those island shots where there's like island cover and your ship is your ship can't really see. Or the aiming reticle doesn't allow you to see over over that island too well. Now, sometimes you can go like this and aim over and see over the island, but um, with uh, smaller ships like this, you don't get that as much of a height advantage, per se. But yes, guys, this is how to get IFHE or the Legends equivalent in the, in um, for the American cruiser classes. It, it's mainly going to be your light cruisers. You could throw it onto your. Uh, Heavy cruisers, but I don't. I wouldn't really see the point. Um, but with the HE spam meta in the game, it, this is only this is only going to get worse. Um, and uh, it allows for it prevents battleships from bow tanking now and, and camping in the back. So like I, like like you saw, three thousand damage every five seconds to an angled turpits. Yeah. Now eventually you will saturate that portion of the ship, what they call saturate, like each portion of the ship, uh, as you can see my front's been hit a little bit and it's starting to darken, that has been partly saturated. Now you can still kill a ship with fire. Where is this fucking Amagi? Like if you set a fire and even in whatever part of that ship has been saturated, he'll die, no matter what. Where did he go? Is he behind this island? But yeah, so after you... No, he, he ran. Why? You just... Why? Whatever. I need intelligence data. So he... Was he going straight or did he... He must have went straight. There you are. Good, just enough time. Now, which way is he going to go is the problem. Yep, he's going to turn around. Or go forward. <sighs> what? I mean, c come on, dude. You're not going to win. Just go out with some style. I get it. Maybe he's trying to get a... There's, there's actually no way for him to win. Even at the two minute mark, the most he could get off was five reloads, and there's four ships. So unless he devastating struck every ship, there's literally no way for him to win. Um, it, I guess possible, theoretically possible, but um, yeah, just just not gonna happen. So go go out with some class, go out with some style, charge in. Is he backing up now? Son of a bitch. Come on, I want to get a you know, probably get one or two salvos off on him. Go forward, please. Is he backing up? course. The most logical play for him to be sail right through. Well, he got the Wichita. Minute left. Can he get us? <laughs> Probably not, because we're going to sail broadside and his massive caliber guns are just going to overpenetrate us. Um, I mean, I guess fair play to him. Whatever. But yeah, let's show you the in the last 40 or so seconds here, let's show you the strength of these, the true strength of these IFHE shells on uh, an angle target. Actually, we need an angle a little bit more. Yeah, there's 5,000 damage. Yeah, we got smacked, but all over pens, plus fire. Yeah, shoot me. In there, we're gonna fire there. No! Oh, 45 penetrations. Let's show you the AP now. 5,000. He's giving us a fat old broadside. Come here, buddy. Give me that broadside. Oh, there's the high caliber. AP is still devastating to those broadsides. 
You might get me, but we're, we're not going down without a fight. I'm telling you that. Oh, no, he got me the last... He got me the last second. GG. GG. Yeah, he overpinned a lot of those shells. Normally, I don't advise sailing directly broadside in front of a battleship like that, but because we're such a lightly armored ship, um, it worked out. Let's see what the scoreboard... 3,200 experience! That's going on YouTube. That's a great game. A perfect example of how to how, how to utilize your light cruiser and, and, and play it all the way through. No destroyers, so we're not worried about radar on those guys. Um, but that's a great game, guys. I'm going to throw that up on YouTube. Let me go ahead and show you the perk that I'm talking about, though. Um, so if you just skip to this part of the video, here it is. Uh, Norman Scott, we've got him fully upgraded. Now, this is the build I just ran for the that video. Um, so keep that in mind. You could switch this out. Like you saw with those long-range shots, it's... It's quirky if you're going to get a hit. The auto-aim feature has not been working well for me, as well as um, just the travel time on those light cruiser shells is very, very long. So you, you, you've got to know the you've got to play the ship a bunch to get a feel for it. Um, but I, I have, and I, I kind of got a, a feel for these long range shots. I you know still missing a bunch, but but um, when they do hit, they're 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 pretty good fire chance, and as well as um, penetrating factor with this perk. Running these, and then I like this one just to know where I'm, where I'm, where I'm at. If I'm getting targeted by five ships or one ship or no ships, it's really useful. But here's the perk: equilibrium of power. Increase the penetration of your cruiser's HE shells at the cost of lowering damage and reduced chance of causing fire by your cruiser's HE shells. So what that does, it increases. So when you shoot your shell and it hits a battleship, for let's just use that the battleship for example. There, there's one of four options in Legends right now. You can either penetrate. You can shatter, you can ricochet, or you can over-penetrate. A lot of the shells um, of these light cruisers simply shatter or only penetrate uh, just enough um, or bounce if they're AP, for example. High explosive shells are either going to shatter or, or penetrate and, and, and um, give you that, that fire chance. A lot of the Cleveland shells, because of the higher tier armor um, on some of these ships, a lot of them shatter. So with this perk, they don't shatter anymore. As you saw with that Amagi, 45 penetrations in a matter of seconds. There was only a minute left in the game. We smacked him. We did switch to AP because he gave us a fat old broadside, and AP is still definitely an option. Um, but with these high explosive shells, they are they are absolutely devastating to battleships, even angled battleships. Um, but this is the perk, and, and this is basically the Legends version of IFHE. So if you think I'm... Um, ill-informed just watch the whole freaking video i did it with my subtle manipulations sap perk on the italians and clickbaited a lot of you um, but this is the perk you need to um select with norm scott now i have coots nets off and andrew cunningham or charles matt i'm sorry I, I mix those two up all the time as my other inspirations these don't really matter too much you can play with these i just like the reload time as well as the traverse speed on american ships it's it's pretty pretty abysmal um, but um, that's the video, guys. Equilibrium of power is the perk you need to select to mimic IFHE. And um, IFHE 4, um, World of Warships Legends. That's the video. That's the Cleveland. You guys know her well. Let me go ahead and get a final little clip of the uh, the scorecard there. We've, we've done a few videos. There's my win percentage. Oh, no, I lagged out earlier. 3,200 base. Three kills, hundred and only 250 uh, target hits, 253 there, but a lot of damage, 135. And guys, you see some of these world record games. That's not what you need to be aiming for. If you could do this every game, you will be you will be top five percent players in, in the game. I guarantee you. A lot of people don't know simple strategy and, and placement in this game, and I'll be making a video on that really soon because it's frustrating the shit out of me. <laughs> um, but yeah, again, you guys know the Cleveland. Um, but now the Cleveland with this this equilibrium and power perk is is very overpowered. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Like if you enjoyed the comment. Subscribe for future comment. Have a great day, guys. I'm out. Peace.